runs one, WF0G, who checks in, runs one. And a couple guys asked me about how we were making them. Or I can show you real quick. It's not, the, it's not a complicated uh, affair. Um, I use, what I do is I make a fan dipole, and normally when you think about a fan dipole, that's an antenna that works mul multiple bands. And you do a, well, I've got one in Florida that works 20, 40, and 80. Uh, I built one for Steve, WF0G, that works uh, 20, 40, 80, and 75 so that he can get on um, digital. It's got four wires. And the thing about it is, most of the time, you spread them out in all different directions. But the way we make, uh, Bob, ORD, showed me how to make them, we just separate them four inches. So that you've got you've got a, a dipole hanging, it's all got uh, 20, 40, and 80 meters, and you just tie it at each end. You don't have to tie it in six different positions. You just tie it in two. And what I what I do is I, t I use this uh, uh, PEX pipe, and I cut it four inches. Yeah, and uh, and then the, I use I make these. They're little, uh, uh, they're, they look like balance, but they're not. They're just connectors. So I'll take my wire. Um, and I'll cut the wire like I'll have an 80 meter leg. And then I'll have a, um, a 20 meter leg, I mean a 40 meter leg and a, and a 20 meter leg. And you can just separate them. <laughs> by using this of course you know you strip this back and I solder you can twist the wire and use a wire nut I solder my wire and then I use a wire nut too for double and then you, for just continuity and, and it makes it real good so that you'll uh, I wrap the wire around here solder to this and then the way I separate them, you take this you run that through the deal here How long is that cable tie? Um, this is a, a, a 10 inch mm -hmm. Um, so you can see I've got one, one in there. This end goes here. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. What wire are you using? I use a 12 gauge. That's pretty heavy. And then Bob said you got to buy this thing, Steve. What is that? It, if you put it on here right, it oh, oh. The wire. tightens it up Tighten and it. cuts it. Oh. And Where'd so there's there's the separation. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. with your, say this is your 80 meter wire, this is your 40 meter wire. If you want a 20 meter wire, you just do it again with another piece of uh, uh, PVC. Yeah. And I put them in about every three feet. Well, we built that one for uh, Steve, and it was the first time I used four wires, and he and they wanted the, it wanted to kind of fold up on itself. He went to Hobby Lobby, and they've got these little. They're about an eighth inch. They look like straws. They're actually hollow, but they fit alongside this wire perfectly, and they're about this long. And so we slid those in the through the pecs. And it held that perfectly in line, and man, it made it slick. So, but anyway, that's how it's done. I mean, it's it's just that simple, you know. And and you can you can uh, uh, and what's amazing, Steve didn't think that uh, that the 75 and the 80 meter wire, being that they were so close to the same length, that he we would be they'd resonate. Yeah. But they did. Yeah. And you can you can talk to Steve WF0G when he checks in. He is he is over the top because he can work digital off you know off of that fan dipole. So it, it they it works real good.
and that's that's how it's done. Sorry, how do you feed it? You feed it with coax? Or yeah, yeah. Or what do you the, these these two wires here, I feed them. You strip them back, wrap them here, solder them, and then coax here. Okay, so that's just a straight through coax to both sides. Exactly, exactly. It's it's not a ballum. It's just a, a connector. It it just hangs real easy. 